Our video today will talk about setting up your scanner in the Readiris software. This is extremely simple. You go to the Readiris menu, Preferences, Scanner, and then select among the items that are installed. If it's a Twain based scanner, it will usually say Twain. If it makes no mention of that, it's usually an image capture based scanner. Let's talk about the other tabs while we're here. You have pre processing options remove dithering, which is little white or black spots in an image. Process is 300 dpi. Remove vertical or horizontal line and set the parameters for that. And you can also, if you know that you're dealing with uh, heavily uh, salt and pepper type documents, use the automatic despeckling. Page analysis, you need. Uh, if you're not sure whether the documents you're scanning are right side up, you can check the page orientation detection and it will automatically rotate them. Same if the pages are crooked. And if you have specs on the borders, choosing the ignore border zones is a good option. Then you can favor accuracy over speed or speed over accuracy. Font type usually just leave it on automatic. Uh, you could choose dot matrix uh, if that's what you're dealing with. And typically it's automatic. It'll detect whether it's a fixed or a proportional font. Then accounts, if you had uh, Dropbox or Evernote uh, installed on your computer, they would appear here. And you could set the uh, configuration for it there. So we're going to come back and set this to the Canon D1500 and begin a scan. Simply click on the scan button and the image capture interface opens and it'll do a preview scan so this was scanned from the flatbed there's an option for a document feeder if your scanner has the ability to um, scan both sizes at the same time when you set it to document feeder you'll be a duplex option And then you can set the color, DPI, 300 is standard. You could go up to a 4 for a very small print. I set the size to custom so that it can adjust what I actually want to scan. So in fact I'm only interested in this table. So I'm going to limit it to that. And then click on scan. So this came in sideways because I uh, did not opt to automatically rotate it. So I'll do that here using the rotate tool. Starting with Mac OS 10.7, 10.8, the move away from Twain was initiated by Apple in favor of the image capture interface. You'll see that referred to as ICA uh, with certain scanner models. Uh, when looking for the driver, that's what you would generally want to pick on the scanner manufacturer's website. And it's important to note that Readers does not load drivers. Scanner manufacturers uh, design and engineer the drivers for the uh, scanner that they produce. Now let me show you where those drivers are loaded. In Finder on the desktop, click on the Go menu, go to Folder, and type in forward slash library. Click on Go. The Finder window will open where you're looking for image capture. Here you'll see Twain data sources, which is where all the uh, Twain drivers would be located. Here's the entry for our IrisScan Pro 5. You can drag any obsolete items to the trash and empty the trash to remove them from your system. For image capture drivers, that's best done in system preferences, printers, and scanners. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching.